How Orbital Welding Works An Introduction Does your tube or pipe application make sense for orbital welding? Watch to find out more. You'll discover the fundamentals of orbital welding in this manual. MIT will cover all aspects of orbital welding, from applications in industry to weld preparations and programming. What is orbital welding? With an electrode circling, or orbiting, 360 degrees around the workpiece, orbital welding is the automated or mechanical joining of tubes or pipes. On tubes or pipes, orbital welding can be done as a fusion process or with the inclusion of filler material. The aerospace industry created orbital welding in the 1950s to replace compression fittings and hand welding. TIG, tungsten inert gas, welding encompasses this kind of welding. The graph below shows that TIG welding only accounts for 3% of all welding worldwide. Then orbital TIG welding only makes up approximately 5% of TIG welding. Even though orbital welding only makes up a small portion of applications, its development has been crucial to the success and ever-rising standards of numerous sectors. How does it work? In orbital welding, the workpiece is clamped by specialized equipment, while the welding arc moves around it in an orbit. This technique is very reproducible since the welding parameters are adjusted by a microprocessor and the settings may be saved and used again. Both consumable and non-consumable electrodes can be used for orbital welding. The former needs a wire feeder's power to provide metal for the arc, while the latter relies on the system's built-in enclosed electrodes and tungsten inner gas. Each of these approaches has particular applications and advantages. Since the 1980s, the market for fittings, gauges, regulators, valves, and other products for high-purity orbital welding applications has grown. When tube welding for high-purity applications, a completely enclosed weldhead must be used. Assuring that the interior components of the weldhead are not scorched with carbon deposits that might short-circuit the passage of electricity is crucial for complete reproducibility. To save parts from wearing out over time, the weldhead has to be cleaned and maintained. Even though this process is very automated, engineers are still needed to run the machine efficiently. Variable restrictions imply that a welder may need to make corrections even when the welding parameters have been entered into the welding equipment. This involves checking samples or coupons regularly for variations in weld penetration. Normally, these coupons are created at the beginning of a welding shift, as well as whenever corrections or alterations are performed. These coupons must nevertheless exhibit constant bead width and complete penetration. 316L stainless steel tubing is typically utilized, coupled with a supply of argon for shielding and backing gas, that has a minimum purity of 99.99% for industrial applications. The quality of orbital welds depends on the quality of the materials employed. Arc length, welding current strength and pulse frequency, welding speed, the kind of parent and filler wire materials, shielding gas, thermal conductivity, and weld preparation are all connected to weld quality. Understanding and modifying these different factors would greatly enhance the weld quality. When to use orbital welding? When manual welding is used in specific positions, such as downhand and above, it can be challenging to establish high standards of safety and quality. Due to the user's limited access, it might be difficult for the welder to regulate the weld pool while balancing surface tension and gravity force in various torch locations, which can result in poor welds. This problem can be resolved by orbital welding albeit a welder will still be needed to oversee and modify the operation. Since the manufacture of tubes results in uniform outer diameters that are better for a correct fit-up in the weldhead, orbital welding is more frequently used on tubing than on pipes. For high purity and leak-proof integrity required by the semiconductor and pharmaceutical sectors, orbital welding has established itself as the industry standard joining technique. Due to its complete automation and great repeatability, Orbital welding should be employed whenever human welding would be challenging or risky, as well as whenever there is a need for several welds. Conclusion Even with unique materials, pieces with a considerable wall thickness, tiny diameters, or hazardous conditions, orbital welding may produce extremely repeatable, trustworthy welds. These elements collectively have led to the widespread adoption of orbital welding across several sectors and applications. While the cost of the necessary equipment is somewhat costly, orbital welding can provide two to three times higher productivity than traditional TIG welding.